The silence of a familiar world. A landscape that could almost be mistaken for Earth. Yet there are no birds tweeting overhead, no sound of water running across rocks, only the whisper of an eerie thin wind brushing across a sandy landscape. This is Mars, and yet in its silence among the alien dunes and dust lie the loud echoes of something very human. Robots sent from Earth to explore. And one of them has a story unlike any other. Its name was Opportunity, a rover built for 90 days that lasted nearly 15 years. It climbed craters, weathered storms, and traveled farther than any rover before or after it. But one day, the wind picked up, the sky turned dark, and we never heard from Opportunity again. So what happened to this incredibly resilient rover in its final moments? And what remains of it today, more than seven years after we lost contact? You're watching V101 Space. My name's Rob. If you love space and want to be a part of this incredible journey, hit the subscribe button. It really helps more than you know. It all began on July 7th, 2003 when a Delta II rocket ignited on the launch pad at Cape Canaveral carrying the rover. NASA called it Mer B, Mars Exploration Rover B. Mer A was its twin, the Spirit Rover. But the world would come to know Mer B by another name, Opportunity, or Oppy for short. A solar-powered, six-wheeled, golf cart-sized robot geologist. Its mission was simple in principle, revolutionary in purpose. Designed to search for evidence of past water on Mars, the key to understanding whether the Red Planet was ever habitable. Six months after launch, on January 25th, 2004, after sailing through the vacuum of space, Opportunity finally plunged through the thin Martian atmosphere. Parachutes and rockets slowed it down as airbags inflated around it, encasing the rover in a protective compartment. After hitting the ground, it bounced at least 26 times before coming to a halt inside a crater, a perfect cosmic bullseye. The airbags deflated and the rover was free to explore. The land it had touched down on was called Meridiani Planum, a flat, ancient plain chosen because orbital data hinted at the presence of hematite, a mineral that on Earth often forms in water. And it didn't take long before the first data started pouring in. Images revealed these tiny spheres scattered across the dusty ground, smooth, round, almost like frozen blueberries. Scientists were stunned. These weren't random rocks. They were hematite concretions, formed in liquid water over vast stretches of time. Opportunity had confirmed what had only been suspected. Mars was once wet. It had standing water, possibly even entire lakes and seas. That single discovery justified the entire mission, but Opportunity was nowhere near finished. It kept moving. Each day, its drivers back on Earth would send instructions and then wait. There were no joysticks, no real-time controls. It took up to 20 minutes at a time for each signal to reach Mars and then 20 minutes to receive one back. Every turn of the wheel was pre-planned, every obstacle assessed from millions of kilometers away. Sure, Mars is unforgiving, but Opportunity was built to survive, so engineers continued to put the rover to the test. But in 2005, that test came very close to ending. While crossing a stretch of what looked like safe terrain, the rover's wheels began sinking into Martian sand. 
It was completely stuck, its wheels unable to move forward or back as these images reveal. Back on Earth, a full-sized replica rover was lowered into a pit filled with simulated Martian soil. Tests ran day and night. NASA engineers desperately worked to find a way to free the rover. And then, after five agonizing weeks, after many ideas scrapped, reworked and tested, opportunity broke free a few centimeters at a time. This wasn't the last time it would face danger, but its journey could continue, its slow, methodical crawl across this alien landscape. It explored craters deeper than any rover had attempted before. It climbed rugged hills, took stunning panoramic shots of sunrises and sunsets. It endured harsh Martian winters, repositioning itself to catch just enough sunlight to stay functional. Originally designed to travel just one kilometer, it drove more than 45 kilometers, the farthest any vehicle has ever traveled on another world to this day. It was a mission that captured the public's imagination, not because the rover was flashy or fast, but because, like the Voyager probes before it, it was resilient. In its quiet persistence, people saw something almost human. But unfortunately, great things must come to an end. And in June 2018, Mars presented the ultimate test. A storm began to brew. At first, it was a regional event, common on Mars, but it grew, and within days, it had circled the entire planet. A global dust storm. The sun began to vanish behind a veil of fine, rust-coloured particles. For opportunity, powered by solar energy, it was a worst-case scenario. Its engineers back on Earth hoped it could hunker down and ride it out as it had done in the past. But this storm was different. It was longer, thicker and darker. And then, on June 10th, 2018, in the midst of this global storm came a transmission. A line that would echo around the world. My battery is low and it's getting dark. Though often misattributed as a quote, the phrase was a poetic interpretation by a NASA engineer based on the rover's final status report. A low power reading, a drop in temperature, and then nothing. It wasn't meant to be a farewell, but it became one. Almost as if the rover knew its time was up. And then there was the final image it sent home a haunting view of the rover's last signal. Not of distant craters or alien rocks, but of the sky. A dim, grainy photo filled with the haze of the storm that Opportunity was trapped within. A fading view of a dying robot. At first, the team hoped it might bounce back. It had survived previous storms, it had endured winters, dust, freezing nights. This rover had a reputation for defying odds, for being scrappy and resilient. But NASA called, and Opportunity didn't answer. They sent wake-up signals day after day, week after week, month after month. Over a thousand commands were beamed across space, but not one single reply was received. Somewhere on that cold, red desert planet, Opportunity had powered down. It was gone for good. After nearly 15 years on Mars, the Opportunity mission was declared complete by NASA in February 2019. So what does Opportunity look like today, over seven years since that last transmission? Well, if you could walk up to it, and one day someone might, you'd likely find a small dust-covered machine. 
Its solar panels dulled by years of Martian storms. Its wheels likely buried in red, rusty regolith. Its mast and camera head no longer scanning the horizon, just staring at the same spot. It would probably feel like a monument, still quiet yet full of stories. The dust wouldn't have erased it, Mars is too dry, too still, and the thin atmosphere preserves the past like a museum with no visitors. This image from Martian orbit reveals the exact location of its final resting place, motionless but still intact. Today, Mars is a planet of robots. Spirit, curiosity, perseverance, Jurong, plus many more. But Opportunity was something different. It outlived its design, it outperformed its expectations, it caught the hearts of a blue planet. Someday, perhaps, human explorers will arrive in this region of Mars and place a hand on its old, dusty frame and remember the incredible moments of this rover. If you've made it this far, thank you. But did you know that over 86% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed? And if you're still here, then you're exactly the kind of person I make these videos for. And if you've enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, I would love for you to be a part of that moment. So please do hit the subscribe button, it really helps more than you know. And if you want to go one step further and help support the channel directly, you can become a V101 member or patron. The links are in the description. It keeps this project going and gives you some nice perks too, including your name at the end of each video and things like behind the scenes access and exclusive content. Either way, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.